Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rohan Khanelwal. I am a breast cancer surgeon and I head the department of breast diseases at CK Birla Hospital, Gurgaon. Today I will be talking about a very common issue with which ladies come to my OPD and that is a breast fibroadenoma. A breast fibroadenoma is the most common cause of a breast lump. Sabse common karan hai with which ladies come to the breast clinic. Fortunately, breast fibroadenomas are benign or non-cancerous and the risk of cancerous conversion is less than 2%. But the issue is that this basically affects ladies between 15 to 30 years of age and it can cause a lot of anxiety in them. Not only that, sometimes these lumps can really increase in size and they can distort the shape of the breast as well. So the common presentation with which ladies come to me with this problem is a lump in the breast. Usually this lump is painless. Dard nahi hota usme. Sometimes before periods they can complain of pain but otherwise mostly it is painless. Patients themselves will say that it moves around in the breast. Even when we examine such patients we notice that the lump freely moves in the breast that is why some people call it a breast mouse as well. To diagnose a fibroadenoma, you require a clinical examination which is done by me and we do an ultrasound as well. If the ultrasound shows some atypical features, some features which are not usual, then we recommend a needle test or a biopsy. Otherwise, we don't recommend that as well in fibroadenomas. Now the biggest question is that do fibroadenomas, do all fibroadenomas require surgery? Well the answer is no. And I will elaborate on this issue but let me address another question which patients ask me. Are there any medicines for fibroadenomas? Unfortunately there are no medicines for fibroadenomas and once these lesions form they will persist in the breast. They don't dissolve on their own. So coming back to the first question, do all of them require surgery? Not at all. There are certain indications to carry out surgery in fibroadenomas. Those indications are if they are increasing in size, if they become very painful, if there is a family history of breast cancer which then increases the risk of cancer in this patient as well or if the fibroadenoma becomes a giant fibroadenoma that's around 4 to 5 centimeters and it is becoming a cosmetic problem as well. These are the only indications when we re recommend removal of fibroadenomas. One should also understand that 10% ladies can have multiple fibroadenomas right and the number can go up to even 30 plus. A case which I operated six years back had 39 fibroadenomas on both the sides. So what are the surgical options for fibroadenomas? Well the traditional surgery is when we make a small cut, we remove the lump and then we suture the lump, we suture the incision from inside. So that leaves a good scar, doesn't leave much of a mark later on. And we try to conceal the scar so that the patient can't see that. It's usually a daycare or a single day surgery and insurance covers the surgery easily. The newer approach which is more exciting and a lot of patients are demanding this new surgery is called VAB or scarless breast surgery. So VAB stands for vacuum assisted breast surgery. There is a special device which we use which has a probe. This probe goes into the fibroadenoma and cuts it from inside. So there is hardly a 2 millimeter cut. You need to understand 2 millimeters is so small you can't even see it after the surgery. So that's why we call it as a scarless breast surgery as well. So the advantage of the scarless breast surgery as the name suggests it is scarless. Right? It can be done as a daycare procedure. You come in the morning, you can go home in the evening and you're back to work from the very next day. There's not much pain and this surgery is also covered in insurance.
patients do ask me whether is the lesion removed completely with VAB. Yes, if you do an open surgery, we remove the lesion as one whole piece. Whereas in VAB, it comes out as separate strips. But because we do the surgery under ultrasound guidance, that means we are doing ultrasound during surgery, we make sure that the entire lump is removed. At CK Birla, we've done more than 20 cases of VAB in the last couple of months and patients have been very satisfied with the surgery and the results. To know more about VAB, you can visit our website and read more about the machine and the procedure. If you have any further questions regarding fibroadenomas, please do put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Do follow our channel for more videos regarding breast disorders. Thank you.